Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a two-story travel trailer from Forest River. This is the 2021 Wildwood Grand Lodge Model 42DL Destination Trailer. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this destination trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited, Andrea. We're taking a look at a two-story destination trailer. Super excited to show everybody, but before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. We're here in Jacksonville. And it's a little hot. It's a little warm, but you know what? I'm excited because I get to see units that I don't get to see in Ocala. Yep, very excited to, uh, to show you. Let's begin. Model is 42DL, but the actual tip to tip length hitch to bumper is 41 feet, eight inches. The dry weight is 13,000. 150 pounds and Andrea, do you know the hitch weight? I do. It's 1855. Yes, yes. Now this is what they call a destination trailer, Andre. And so what that means is you don't want to be traveling with this much. You really only want to move this at you want to move it as less as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so because of that, they don't give you the power tongue jack. They do give you the manual tongue jack, which you know I don't like, but I'm not mad again. This is made to go park in front of a lake and stay there, you know? We do got your propane tanks right here. And then look at the front. Nice big windows. It's a front living room. I love it. It is awesome and everything. Now, what's really great about these Wildwood uh, Wildwood Grand Lodges is they're, they're really customizable. So we stock all of them with the holding tanks. But if you don't want the holding tanks, you can order this without them. Also, we stock most of them with the fiberglass sides, but you can get your conventional sides like that Advent Avenger right there. Um, and that's gonna help save you on price points some. Right here, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Okay. We do have a nice, huge power awning. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Great, nice, huge power awning with LED lights. And then check this out. We have this nice sliding glass door. So what a lot of people do when they go to their permanent sites, they'll have a patio right here, you know what I'm saying? And then they're sitting under the patio, under the awning, and it is really awesome, and I love this grab handle here. I like the outdoor speakers. Yep. And then you have power and coax. If you do want a television on the outside, very nice. Coming outside. Oh, look at these tires, Andrea. Oh man, these are Rainiers. Rainier tires, ST 235-R16. All right. Coming down the side, you do have your other stabilizing jacks right there. Around the rear, no bumper for your stinky slinky, no big deal. No prep for a backup camera. Again, this is made to be transported as few times as possible and to give you the most space. Right, here's where you hook up your cable and satellite. Okay. And around here, 50 amp travel trailer. So you got your plug right there. And yeah, pretty basic on the outside. What say you? Um, yeah. I like well, it when it's simple. Yep, and then here's where you dump your black and gray tanks. Right there. Very nice, that's a second gray tank dump. And then here, Oh, oh, look at that nice big water heater. Very nice. Andrea. Yes. We will have all the tank heaters and everything. We already showed it up front, but we will also have it down in the description below. In case you want to know what size that is. Then here's where you fill up your fresh water, your city water and everything. Low point drain. Mm -hmm. and, and then we got do the... have a black tank flush. Nice. Finishing up. Looks like we do have a little bit of storage right here. Okay. And it's, you know, it's Actually, nice. that's, that's pretty decent. 
Well, Andrea, the outside of this destination trailer is okay. <laughs> Just okay. But let me tell you, what makes this unit amazing is the two stories on the inside. Andrea, let's go take a look. Through the sliding glass door. Yes. All right. Wow. Look at this. Very nice. Wow. I love that they give you a ceiling fan. I can see that already. Look, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go to the back. Here is the bathroom. And the upstairs, Don't which you guys will have to wait and see. Yeah. And the bedroom. Okay. All right, we're gonna, hey, Andre, we're gonna make America wait for that. <laughs> so let's get started right here. First and foremost, as you can tell, the ceiling height is amazing, okay? You, this is the tallest ceilings in the RV industry. I absolutely love it, especially people who are like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and they have a hard time fitting in units. This is gonna feel great. It's not gonna feel claustrophobic, and it's gonna feel awesome. Right here, we do have a nice trifold sleeper sofa. Good material here. Um, it's it's that water wickering material, mm -hmm. like a vinyl. Yes. And I absolutely love these big windows. Oh my god. Balances are cute. Right. I mean, imagine sitting by a lake and you're looking out. We got blinds. We okay. Sure do. Privacy, privacy only. Blinds. Just privacy. These mm. windows are really big. I like that a lot. Yes, ma'am. And you got little end tables over here. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, now Matt. With power, yep. I like that. Okay, guys, if you can look at this sofa. Look, they actually have legs on the sofa. Yeah, that's it's like a cute. regular sofa, yeah. Yeah, that's very cute. It is. And that does pull out to make a bed. Yep, it was okay. a trifold. It's a trifold bed. And then here, you do have your theater seats. Oh, I love this, with cup holder, with remote holder. You can sit back, relax, you're at your lake house and you're looking straight on at the television. That's a big television. Well, it is the um, Westinghouse television, so you know it's gonna be great. Uh, you got your Furion sound bar here and your Greystone fireplace right there. All right, we got some storage above. Nice storage, huh? Good size. Very good size. And, and you know, I'm really liking that they have, like you said, the tall ceilings in here. Yep, it look, really look makes look those, it spacious. Um, what do you call this? Um, There's some kind of beams. Yeah, some beams, just looks nice. I like the pattern. Try to look at that pattern yep. right there. It's very Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do like how there's a ceiling I fan. do like how there's a light above the slide yep. for the ambiance. And then check out this. You have your table and chairs right here. I love this. And then look, who, come here, look what they're doing to the table. Isn't that, it's yeah different. It's yes. just not plain. I like no, it. No, it's it's nice. It gives it that kind of, I don't know, weathered. Yep. Um, I don't know what Antique you would call it. Kind yeah, of look. it looks good. It does look good. And as good as it is, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this destination trailer is Seventy thousand seven hundred and seventeen dollars MSRP. Which, for those of you who are wondering, uh, with twenty percent down, that's only about four hundred and five dollars a month, which isn't bad. But Andrea, yes, that's MSRP. That's not sale price. Sale price, as you can see right here, we can't advertise the twenty twenty one sale prices. But here's what you do. All you gotta do is go down in the description below. Go to generalrv.com. Click get lowest price, or right now we are doing the RV show pricing. Click that. One of my team members will reach out to you and get you the best price in America. The only thing you have to do... Tell them you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And then you will get... The Matt price. The phenomenal price. The best price in America. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay. Wow, you guys. I'm excited. All right, so we got a nice pantry here. Look at that. Uh-huh. 
I'm gonna start over here. Well, actually, I will do the island first. Nice. So notice the lights around the bottom of the island. I like it. I like that a lot. I like that they gave you a double sink here. Okay. Very nice. You got an extension. We got a cupboard here. Very nice. Cabinetry for your trash can. And I guess you put your trash can over here. Oh, uh, that's a small trash can. All right. Can't fit an $83 trash can in there. <laughs> no. And then we got more cabinets with the shelf in there. Very nice. I like that you have all this counter space back here. That's mm -hmm. great. Cute backsplash. They give you the blinds. Can never have enough storage space, guys. Two drawers. And then you got these big drawers here. Nice. And over here, we got another one. Yep. Andre, the storage in here is incredible. Yes. Whirlpool, I mean, this is good for microwave. a lot of people full-timing or <laughs> definitely full-time vacationing or whatever. Yes, and I was going to say because it gives you this Furion 3 burner cooktop that this is feels more like a residential for sure. Yep. Because of the way it's laid out. And they give you a big oven. Look at that. Look at that guys. oven. Wow. Wow. Oh, we got a Smart. Whirlpool residential. Smart. Smart. Love it. Very nice. All right, we got some more cabinetry over here, guys. Yep. I guess you could do, I don't know, put anything you want over here. Coffee pot. Coffee pot, yeah. Crock pot, air fryer. Got your panel over here, you Matt's guys. Matt's RV Reviews mug. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> more cabinetry under there. Yep. Yeah, and you know what? I'm just really liking, you know, what they've done with their designs here. It's, it's, they got the more yeah. modern look. Yep. Um, it looks cute. Very nice. Cool. Well, now it's time for the bathroom. Okay. Very roomy in here. Um, let me be the. That's crazy. It's kind of cool in here. I know. Well, I have the door open right here. No, why. but it's like cool. It's crazy. Great big shower. I love it. Nice big shower. Little sink. Plenty of headspace. If you're taller than six three, though, you are gonna have to duck down. But no big deal. That's why you got the shower seat. Look, we got. Okay, so nice we got drawers. a mirror, we got a light, yep. sink for your sponges. Open that one more time. Okay, so you know what I like? How they left this open down here? Mm -hmm. That looks good. A lot of times they won't leave that open. And then Matt, look, we got cabinets over here for I linens. Just, linens. Oh, look, I think you'll like that toilet. Does look like a prime pooping position. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Uh -oh. Andrea, Andrea, <laughs> this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Also, I want to give a shout out to Traveling Robert. He gave us a shout out on his video. He was touring uh, the Winnebago plant. And um, he sat on the toilet and he said, as Matt from Matt's RV would say, this is a prime pooping position. Oh. Like his accent. It was so awesome. Traveling Robert's awesome if you Thanks, haven't gotten Robert. a chance to check him out. Cool. And then, Andrea, oh. do we show the second level or not? No, we do the bedroom and then oh, save that for last. Man, you're crazy. All right, so as you can see, there's steps to go down into the master bedroom. Master bedroom right here, yep. And here it is. Yep, nice slide out. Plenty of headspace still. Yes, you got a queen size bed. Yep. I, I, like. I like that what they've done in here with the uh, back. Headboard? Yeah, it's. I don't, wouldn't say it's really a headboard. It's part of the... Right, just the wall the wall but yeah I mean it looks good and they've got storage up there yep. I like that there's windows on both sides absolutely I was gonna say that and, and then why don't you open up those doors let's see what we got over here for the wardrobe Some technical difficulties there <laughs> look at that wow that's great wow you got two big drawers down here wow very nice very nice and what's in here I bet you <laughs> oh Prep for a stackable washer dryer. Stackable. I That's love that. Great. Everybody knows stackable is so much better yes. than um than the combo. So to get the stackable. Also, very nice. check this out, you guys, with the nice windows in this room. Yep. It just gives it so much light. Sure you does. You do have cabinetry down here. Mm -hmm. So you can never have enough space. And we got six drawers over here. Yep. 
Right okay, there. so Matt, I guess right where would there. you, if you wanted to put a TV, you'd have to just let it sit there, right? Right here, yeah. Okay, so it would sit here, and yep. then it's. But that's what I like. I like I like a TV got right the there. Got connections there for the TV. Yep. Do we got storage under the bed, Matt? Yay! We sure do. And awesome. if you notice here, this mattress, it's a Serta. Oh. And another thing I like there is Very the door nice. to the bedroom. Yes. So you don't need to, you know, wake everybody up inside the RV. Very nice. All right, Andrea. <laughs> now the moment you've all been waiting for, and make sure you buy our Fisher Match RV review stickers. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, here oh, we go. Oh, look, there is a centralized <gasps> Yay! vacuum. Yay! That's awesome. Here we go now. Okay, here we go. We're going up the steps. Yep. Wow. What's behind curtain number one? <laughs> Bunk area. Bunk area. This is a big bunk area. It sure is. Wow. Oh, and look, there's an AC thing right here. Because this area could definitely get hot, especially with some kids. So you yeah. can do it in dump mode right there. You can place a TV right there if you want to hand me that camera. I'm going to open this cabinet here because you do have some storage. Very nice. Double very nice. That's great. Perfect for the kids. Yep. <laughs> And then watch your step out. Yep. And then for your even smaller kids. See, this one's good. For adults. You could have adults sleep over here. Correct. Now this one's gonna be for kids. Oh yeah, just for one. Yeah, this one's a lot smaller. Oh yeah, definitely. You know. Just kinda is what it is. I guess they have it prepped in this corner if you had to put a TV. Yep. And as great as it is, and as nice as it is, Andrea, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer, destination trailer, and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Perfect. I'm sitting there right okay. now. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do this. Okay. I don't like the headspace in here. It's very tight. Also, I don't like how it's like into the living room if that makes sense okay you know like the, you feel like there is open it's too open well like the kid like if you're trying to stay up late watching stuff you're gonna disturb whoever's sleeping here okay that's one two i got number two okay hold on matt here we're going now <laughs> all right my number two I have never been a fan of carpets in destination travel trailers, fifth wheels, whatever. Any motorhome, any really. Any motorhome, really. Or so any RV. The fact that there is full carpet in here is my dislike. Not a fan. Yeah. Okay, so that's two. And then number three, I must say, hmm, I actually don't have a number three, do you? Um. <sighs> no, not really. I'm going again with the carpets. You can't double carpets. I know, but that just, that's my dislike. Well, I mean, here, other here, than that, I like the I'm way everything say. else is. Here's what I'm going to say. A number three dislike is going to be the shower area for anybody who is six foot three or tall. Yes, and that's because of the loft up here. Right. That you don't have as much height. I, I, you know what? I'm doing it again. I just really don't like, I wish they would eliminate this loft altogether make this bathroom higher because that sleeping area is good enough you know okay so that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about this destination trailer you ready for me to go first sure refrigerator placement yes i, I agree know a lot of travel trailers they'll put it on the slide out not that there's a problem with putting refrigerators on slide outs but statistically when refrigerators aren't on slide outs they won't fail as often as they are on slide outs. So I love Good that. Point. That's one. Two. I'm going to say what I like about this is I love all the storage space in here. Yeah. I love the fact that you have this big pantry. Yep. And there's so many cabinets in here. Not I mean, this yeah. is perfect for, you know, when you're vacationing months out of the year. Yep. I mean, I mean it's, it's another second, home. It's your it's, second home. It's not only that, the bedroom, uh, you have plenty of space and yes. you're able to have stackable washer dryer and everything and then number three this uh like that i like i like the high roofs i like the big windows i like the ceiling fans and i love the feng shui here in the living room definitely big spaces and nice and i absolutely love that 
Well, Andrea, let's step outside. Can't believe it's cooler outside than inside. Come on down. That's it. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions on this destination trailer, feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews, gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone, y'all. Or check us out on our website at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Um, but again, more importantly, if you want pricing and, and more information on this unit, go to generalrv.com. I have a link down in the description below. Click the get lowest price. The only thing you have to do to get the lowest price is tell them. Tell them you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And you'll get the absolute best price. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes! Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Forest River will be reading the comments, so we really appreciate everybody's feedback. Um, I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. Also, also we only have like five days. Yes, you guys, our keychains, bing! Ooh. We only have like five days until they're gone. So make sure you get one of those. Yep, and again, down in the description below. Down in the description below. below, you will see the link. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Yep, and let's say you can't see it down in the description below. Just go to mattsrvinterviews.com. You'll see a merchandise tab, and that's where you'll be able to get the keychains as well. Thank you so much for watching, Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.